It's about 3.30 on day 17. Slept at a shelter last night. There was barely anybody there, so it was kind of nice. Almost knew everybody there. I think I met a new face or two. But as far as shelters go, it was pretty pleasant. Not a lot of people. They were taking their time to try to come up with a trail name for me, because I guess it's weird that at this point I still don't have one. At least they were throwing out better suggestions tonight. Um, let's see, Nightman, Nightcrawler, um, Danimal. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a big fan of Danimal, but, you know, that's what Tim calls me. He's As far as I know, he's the only person who's ever called me that. <sighs> Headed to a place called Fontana Dam today. That is my last stop before I enter the Great Smoky Mountains. Which I'm mildly intimidated by, but I think that's just name alone. And the fact that there's still snow on them. But I got a decent amount of confidence in myself, so, I mean, it is the tallest mountain on the AT and whatnot, but I'm going to kick its ass. doesn't have much of a choice. I'm coming for it. Evidently, the shelter there is considered the Hilton of, shower, of, of shelters. It's got a shower. It's got solar power on it. So you have a heated shower, a place to charge your batteries, stuff like that. Don't actually know if I'll be headed there. Because being that nice, that's where everybody's going to head. And I'm in the middle of a decent-sized bubble, meaning there's all, quite a lot of people around me. I mean, there's only like six of us at this shelter, but I know there's, within a few miles, there's a shit ton of us. So I'm going to head into town, get my resupplies and whatnot, and then head off for the Smokies. Good stuff. Woke up around two or so, which isn't really unusual for me out here. Laid in bed for a little while, got up, started doing my morning ritual, trying to be all quiet so I don't wake everybody up. Made my oatmeal, my cup of coffee, finished my oatmeal, still sipping there, sitting there sipping on my cup of coffee, talking to the constellations. Scorpius is on the horizon and he and I go way back. So I'm sitting there chatting with him. And then I hear my pot making noises, which is kind of strange because pots don't normally make noises by themselves. So you go over and check, and there's a little mouse inside of my pot. I guess he's finishing up the scraps of my oatmeal. I tried to get a picture of him, but yeah, and he's a quick little guy, so he, he jumps out and goes and hides. So I'm just doing my stuff again, and I hear him again. I tried to take a picture of him. I got a picture of him cowering in the corner, but not in the pot, because he was just, he was all adorable in my pot. But now that means I gotta go boil some water in that thing and boil my spoon because I've had mouse genitals on my spoon and in my cup. And I have, I have to imagine that those are pretty filthy. So no more eating out of that pot, but that's okay. I'm headed, you know, into a place where I can take care of all that. But it was, it was kind of a cute start to the day. What we got here is a tree eating a sign. Is that cannibalism? Nom, 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 nom. End of another glorious night. It was really nice. Only did about five miles. I walked pretty slow in the dark, evidently. Um, according to my map, because I'm totally reading the map now, um, I only got a mile ago to the shelter, so I'm going to go there, kick it, and maybe have another cup of coffee. I hope they made a fire so I don't have to use my gas to heat up the water. But, yeah, I'm in the mood for a cup of joe right now. Good day so far. Get to a top of a steep-ass hill. I got a blaze over there telling me I need to go on this trail. I got a blaze over there. And one way down there. They tell me I should go on this trail. Hmm. I'm about a mile outside of Fontana Dam. And I found some grass on the ground. So I decided to kick back and relax in it. My feet are pretty beat up. My ankles suck. I've got sores. I even have a blister. What? Me, a blister? Pfft, whatever. But, yeah, the back of my heels, both of them are pretty messed up. And my ankles hurt. My knee hurts. So I think um, I'm going to take a zero tomorrow. Today, I, you know, I'm going to rest up. Can't call it a zero because I've already done, I think, 11 out of my 12. But I did 26 miles in under 24 hours. That, that's pretty badass. I wasn't even trying to push it. It's just I keep waking up early and going for walks. 
So before I head into the Smokies, I figure I might as well make sure I'm not necessarily 100% because that's not going to happen, but as rest up as possible. So I'm going to stay there tonight. I might even stay again another night so I can have a full day tomorrow to heal up. That's the current plan. We'll see how I stick with it. So far, I don't stick with plans too well. I'm staying in a pretty sweet room. I could rent out the other bed to somebody else and split the price, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to be selfish and just keep the whole thing for the night. I'm kind of wounded. So right now I've got a few things going on. Yeah, wound on the back of that foot right there that just won't heal. And then this bad boy, I got that shit going on. And then the monster blister. So I'm going to kick in here for the next, uh, just... Tonight and then tomorrow I'm going to go back to the trail and maybe just sit and hang out for a day. Just to let everything heal up. I'm not sure. But I'm not staying two nights here. But I can't very well go walking. That'll kill me. Or maybe not. I don't know. But either way, I'm resting up for a day or two. Plans have changed yet again. I was planning on staying in that room by myself. Because this is a really nice resort. I didn't figure there'd be hiker trash here. Like, we look around, there's some pretty nice bungalows going on. But this place is filled with hiker trash. So I went out to the lobby and I saw three people that I, I kind of knew. And I was like, hey, you guys want to crash in my room? 20 bucks a piece. So now my room only cost me 20 bucks. And then I go down to the general store and on my way, a door opens up and somebody goes, hey, come on in. And there's a few peeps I know and, you know, they feed me a beer, which is pretty cool. Go down to the general store, run into a whole group of people that I kind of know. Evidently, they're calling me Nightcrawler behind my back, so that, that is my trail name now. I, I, I have a trail name. Don't really like it, too many syllables, but it'll grow on me. Huh? So now I'm definitely staying here tonight. Maybe even staying tomorrow if I can get those three peeps to stay, and it's only 20 bucks. And then after that, Smoky Mountain Ho. Actually, I think I'm going to the Smokies tomorrow. Just didn't make sense. The whole group that I know is going at the same time. So to make myself more comfortable, I should probably travel with people I at least know. But who knows? I can't make plans here. I suck at making plans. Everything I say 10 minutes later changes. But yes, that is the plan for now. I'm going to go to the Smokies tomorrow. I got way too much food. I do not want to carry this crap. It's already heavy right now. You know, lugging it another... I don't know how long the Smokies are. I think they're only like 60, 70 miles. So I'm saying that's not too bad, but that's 60 or 70 miles. That's kind of bad. Random giant block of styrofoam out in the middle of the woods. What? Dan do the dance for me. My styrofoam dance. Oh yeah, that's a styrofoam dance. Sexy, sexy. Now where's that beer you promised me? <laughs> Today is a gorgeous day. I should really be out there hiking, but my feet are telling me no. So I found a really nice place. Gonna kick back here with a few of my um, newish friends, Flatline and Roy, who are out getting beer and pizza because evidently we're rather close to the town, so they're gonna go fetch some and bring it back. But I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day here because why wouldn't you spend the rest of the day here? I mean, look, look at this shit. You know you'd rather be here than wherever you're at right now. And then tomorrow I shall carry on to the Great Smoky Mountains. I really got to eat some of that food. I got, uh, I got at least 15 pounds of food on my back. Which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but with the rest of my life on there. And then that'll give me five days to make it 60 miles. Which will be my longest stretch out there without coming back. I'm kind of excited about that. You know, I got to test my metal a little bit. I haven't stayed out longer than like three and a half days. So I would really like to eventually be able to stay out a week at a time. That seems pretty sweet to me, but... No, I'm just going with the flow for now. We'll see how it goes. But all in all, man, today is a really good one. You know, every day should be by a lake somewhere drinking a cold beer or a cold dish, you know, just chilled in a lake. But I didn't have to carry it in. They carried my beer for me like beer Sherpas. Everybody needs their own beer Sherpa. Oh my God, it's cold. Hiker so trash showers. Cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've had enough. <laughs> I don't do well with cold water. <laughs> was there shrinkage involved? Uh, there was shrinkage well before I jumped in. <laughs> Not much to shrink. Here it goes. Woo! Oh, this is great. <laughs> <laughs>
The skinny guy is like, too cold! Yeah. Oh, big guy's like, perfect. I gotta get in on some of this. How am I look? How am I look? Woo! <laughs> Oh wait, do it again. We Holy didn't hit shit. We didn't hit play. Or we didn't hit record. Yeah, it's cold, doesn't it? It is! <laughs> it feels really good though. That's not half bad. I've jumped in okay. way colder. Done. Turns out my sleeping pad makes one hell of a raft. Ah, this is the life. I believe it's the morning of day 19. Right now I'm crossing the Fontana Dam. I'm pretty sure I'm on the trail. I haven't seen a white blaze yet today, but this kind of makes sense as which direction I should go. Sure hope so, because my backpack's heavy. I don't feel like backtracking. Yesterday was a pretty nice day. Took the day off, walked up to the first shelter, which is only about a mile in from where I was. They call it the Fontana Hilton because it is supposed to be the nicest shelter on the AT. It's got solar power, heated showers, running water, flushing toilets, garbage cans. It's also right next to the lake that the dam creates, which is where I spent my day. We were sitting down there eating pizza, drinking beer. Turns out my bed works as a really nice raft, so I was floating around. Got a decent sunburn, but that's white people problems. But, you know, I needed a, needed a day off. My ankles are still kind of sore. I still have a few blisters. But uh, that's kind of par for the course for hikers. I looked at a lot of people's feet yesterday because everybody's walking around in camp shoes and everybody's got big old blisters and whatnot going on. So it's not like I'm the only one. We've all put somewhere near 200 miles on our feet, so they should kind of look the way they do. Today I enter the Great Smoky Mountains. The plan is to stay out there until I get them done. I think they're like 70 miles or so. Should have enough food on my back. If not, I'll you know take some from a day hiker. That's what they're there for, is to resupply me. Or die. Last night we were hanging out by the campfire and I heard this rustling noise coming from near it, right? So I'm looking around trying to figure out where it is. And out of the stones that we used, to, well, I guess they were kind of already there to make the, the fire circle. Um, a frog comes out and he turns and he faces the fire for whatever reason. I saw that look in his eye. I know that look. That was a suicidal frog. He was going to jump in the fire. So like, you know, slow motion. I'm like, no. And I put my water bottle in front of him. I'm like, don't jump frog. And that asshole jumped right into the fire. He jumped around my bottle, right into the fire where he cooked and popped and sizzled and whatnot. One of the dude pipes was actually a little distraught over it. He had to leave. I was a little upset myself. I hate seeing things die and burning is like a horrible death. But, you know, I, I tried to stop him. I just wasn't quick enough. But that was the most eventful thing that happened yesterday. And this was the last place he was seen alive. Oh, found me another fire tower. Just a little too late to see the sunrise, but I'm gonna go see what I can make of it. I hope that door's unlocked. I walked off trail for this. I mean, not really far, but it was all uphill. If I walked off trail for a, lo for a locked door, I'm not necessarily gonna be pissed, but mildly annoyed. This fire tower is really freaking high. I'm pretty nervous out here. I'm holding on to rails and whatnot, taking things slowly, being all safe. So unlike myself. It is, it's so cool up here all at the same time. There's a little bunk up here. Looks like shit. Look at a homeless house. Try to make a cup of coffee. While I'm up here, I might as well enjoy a cup of joe. Beautiful day. Oh, hey, there's the dam. Can't see it through these windows, can we? Can we focus and zoom in? No, just gonna show the crap on the window. Okay, so that dam, that's where I was 
few hours ago. And all the way up here, I mean, it's a pretty long way down. Oh, that's my stuff down there. Cool thing about being out here is nobody wants to steal your stuff because nobody wants to carry the crap you've got. I only have to worry about an animal running off with my food bag. That's the, the bright orange one off to the right. Random chimney. I have no idea which ones of these I'm headed to next. I'm assuming. Zoom back out. Assume I'm headed up these hills right here and up into this. And then I'm guessing all along those bad boys. Good times. I'm in the Smoky Mountains. The only thing stopping this tree from collapsing is that little bit of bark right there. Just that little bit. Crushed the tree on the inside, and they're expecting me to walk under it. I don't get paid enough for this shit. If we refer to the map, I started off down here this morning, climbed up the side of this mountain, I went, uh, that's a good 2,000 something feet, and went from like 1,800 feet to just below 4,000. Currently, I'm somewhere right about here, and I'm gonna try to make it to this shelter, or maybe the one beyond. I'm not sure how far the one beyond is. I haven't broke out that map yet. But here in the Smokies, I am forced to stay in shelters. That's just one of the rules here, one of the many rules here. But yeah, that's what we've done so far today. Not half bad. I should have enough to stay a little long for the next shelter. All right, guys. All see right. you down there. Yep. Take it easy, man. Well, it is a nice shelter. It's got a little fireplace. Evidently, somebody left some tarps to fill in. They always leave a wall open on these things. Lots of sleeping space, as long as you're not claustrophobic. Top and bottom. As far as shelters go, this is a pretty cool one. Everywhere up on these mountains so far is covered in these little purple and white flowers. I mean, there's other ones, but those purple and white ones are everywhere as far as the eye can see they don't have a scent to them unfortunately but at least they look nice that was the first shelter i came across today i don't know if it's always going to be like this in the smokies but since they force us to stay in shelters maybe they'll have more of them but i hear there's another one three miles down the way another one two miles after that so it's still early in the day it looks like it's going to rain soon but I was going to wander to the next one, check it out. That first one was pretty nice, though. By my standards, I'd stay there. Depends on how bad it gets, how many people. At the last, at the shelter I took off from this morning, there was, I don't even know, because there was hills, so I couldn't see them all, but there was just tent after tent. There had to have been that I could see 40-ish or so. So I know there's a whole bubble of people behind me, and I'd rather just stay ahead of them if possible. At least most of them, you know, the ones I'm cool with, they know, they know where I'm at, they can find me if they want me. But all them rest of them peeps, that's just too many for me. This is the next shelter down the way. Damn near spitting image of the first. Kind of crappy. But, you know, as far as these things go, it's not half bad. At least the graffiti's different in here. Got a fireplace going. Kind of a sunroof. You know, this is better than the apartment I lived in. I think I'm just gonna move in here. It's the morning of day 20. Woke up too damn early, even early for me, about one o'clock, having weird nightmares and my left knee is killing me. I'm having a hard time walking around on it even without my pack on. Uh, so I wasn't planning on stopping in Gatlinburg. I was gonna test myself by going all the way through the Smokies, but now I'm thinking I'm going to go to Gatlinburg and take a day off, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how today feels. But my knee was messing with me all day yesterday, a little bit the day before. But today I wake up and it fucking hurts. Yay, getting old rocks, doesn't it? Got into a little beef with a guy last night at the shelter. He evidently doesn't like people smoking near his shelters. So he went around and he kind of strong-armed other dudes into not smoking. He came over and talked to me and I said, nah, you know we're outside don't I don't really care 
Dude was standing next to the fire doing a smoke bath anyway, so you can't do a smoke bath one minute and then complain about my cigar the next. So I told him, no, I'm not, I'm not going to listen to you, man. I went down, filtered some water, came back up, was getting my little area ready, and the dude comes in behind me trying to strong arm me. Actually puts his fists up like fisty cuffs. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Uh, so I said, yeah, if you want to go outside and whoop your ass, you know, if I whoop your ass, you've got to go to the next camp. And the guy didn't know what to do. I guess I was supposed to back down all instantly. So I got in his face a little bit, and then other hikers came in and broke it up. But if he's at the next camp, I'm going to explain to him that he needs to keep on moving. This is my motherfucking camp. I ain't going to have people harshing my gig out here. Too many places to hide bodies for me to put up with your shit. This is the, definitely the most paranoid I've been walking at night. I don't know if it's because I'm in the Great Smoky Mountains or Smoky the Bear. But I'm just all paranoid. Got my headlamp on full, looking around. Waiting for some eye shine or something. I haven't heard anything weird that makes me suspicious. I just got that feeling. Bear come out, I will kick your ass. Did my voice crack a little bit there? Because I am kind of intimidated. Bears don't know that though. You don't know that. It's because the moon's not out. I can't see shit. Well, I mean, I can't with my headlamp on, but only what's in my beam is like playing Silent Hill. You only get to see what's in the light beam. <sighs> Paranoia. Come around a corner and there's a whole city down there. Thousands of lights. It's just really interesting. I'm only a few miles away, but I'm in this bubble of freedom. Well, even there right now, there's thousands of people toiling away. Wonder if there's an all-you-can-eat restaurant down there. Okay, I'm fucking dying. My knee is killing me. I'm doing my best to, like, not bend it while I walk. Because it only hurts when I bend it, but that's kind of a knee's function. And from what I hear, Gatlinburg is still a good 20 miles away. I'm definitely not making that today I am crawling along probably doing a mile an hour tops <sighs> don't get old it sucks I'm going town I'm gonna rest this thing up I'm gonna try getting one or I don't know if there's multiples of those knee braces I see people wearing shit I'll buy every kind they have and wrap it around there as long as it works I don't know what's up with it uh, probably something with overuse, huh? That would kind of make sense. But I guess at least it's only one knee. Could be worth, could, could be both of them. <sighs> well, this is slow going. It sucks that I'm not having fun right now. Not at all. Grr. Officially not having a good time. I am stuck at this shelter. This shelter's kind of a crap hole. I mean, all of them have been, you know, the shelter, I'll say, is nice, but... The toilet area, there's a sign that says has no toilet, which essentially tells me the world is my toilet. But if I go over to the hill to the right, it is a field of toilet paper, and I can only assume what else is associated with. And of course, that's the way the wind is blowing. Not that you can smell it, but I know the wind's passing over it, so. So I'm going to be smart and take um, the rest of the day off here. My knee is killing me. I'm having a hard time bending it. I'm really hoping some of my luck out and somebody comes along with an extra knee brace. You know, where stranger things have happened. I'm on my last cigar. I only got that much left. Oh no. Will addiction drive me to go to my next destination even faster? Yeah, more than likely it will. But the plan is, you know, I only did like 10 today. And I hobbled on half of that. So the plan is hang out here the rest of the day. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe the day after if needs be. Trying to play it safe, but it's going to be boring. I already want to move on. Yay. By day, we live as free men, but at night we sleep like prisoners. We got to hang our stuff, and we got to hang it from the ceiling so the mice don't eat through it. Everybody grabs a bunk. You put all your stuff out, all prison style. Here's all my crap. I own the corner. You know, it's the biggest lot, so that's the one I take closest to the door. Our nice tarp door. You gotta love it. These things are high tech, fancy. 
Yeah, fancy living in here. Still at the shelter. It was a boring ass day sitting around and eating. That's basically all I did. There's too many people here. It looks like a Grateful Dead concert now. But, you know, I got good news. Ten miles away, there is a parking lot that I can hitch out of and get into town, get myself a knee brace. Uh, somebody did come along and let me borrow their knee brace. I don't feel great, but I guess it feels better. Maybe it's placebo effect. But it's only ten miles away. And then I can go get the stuff I need, maybe relax in town for a day or so, soak in a hot bath, get my knee going again, because it, it hurts. It does a lot. But the bad part is it's only 10 miles, but it's 10 miles up the biggest mountain on this entire trip. Somewhere over 6,000 feet. And then tomorrow's Easter Sunday, so will there be anybody coming to and fro for me to hitch a ride? Lord knows. But I bet it'll work out for me. Everything seems to. So, yeah. Tomorrow's gonna suck. Hopefully I don't hurt myself too bad. You know, and rest up in a day. I don't want to do more than two, because... You know, I got to know pretty much everybody that's in this group I'm traveling with, and if I stop behind for a day or so, I'm stuck in a new group, and then I gotta catch up. But we'll see how it goes. I'll take it one day at a time, man.